Good morning. Hello, everyone. It's uh, it's 10 to 9 in the morning. No, 20 to 9 in the morning. I can't tell time. And I thought this was a great time to finally give Wild Terror Online a go. Wild Terror Online is a... Let's, let's look where it describes itself as. Is a hardcore sandbox RPG in a completely player-controlled medieval world. Fair enough, sounds all right. It gets mixed reviews on Steam, both recently and overall. It's priced at £9.99. And yeah, let's have a look. What, what's it require? What's it require? Um, pretty mundane requirements here. Nothing out of the ordinary. An i5, um, 4 gig of RAM, 8 gig recommended. 600 megabyte available space. Yeah, nothing nothing crazy there. Um, there's one guy here that doesn't... He, uh, you can't see it, but he, uh, he doesn't recommend it with 255 hours played. Um... Yeah, <laughs> so fair enough. Uh, this is this is my little character look. I, I've spent about an hour, like having a little looky around the world and getting to grips with what's happening. Um, so let's go. Let's go harvest a tree. She's uh, a. She hasn't got any clothes yet, but she does have a place to live. Um, it's quite interesting thing it does is um, with all these player-driven games like this and these open-world games. The problem is, how do you like say that's mine, right? Like, how do you do that? And uh, how you do that with this is you make this thing called. A dominium um and uh and it puts this little thing there and then and then it puts this box around it and then you own that from what i understand then you can you can upgrade it and make it bigger which is, which is fine require a shovel to upgrade it we can, we can build a shovel look we can build a shovel a C for construction and we can go to survive uh, tools look within the crafting menu um or is it survival survival for the basic stuff um wooden shovel create and she just creates the shovel. Then maybe we can upgrade it now. Upgrade it. Uh, you require a shovel. I thought I had a shovel. Oh well. Never mind. Never mind. Um, one of the things that I noticed about this game, one of the things that that has struck me is that fact that I haven't seen another person. I chose one of the American servers, which seems to be the recommended ones. Um, it's a PVE server without. But that means like no players are going to come and attack me, which is good for you learning the game. But I literally, there's lots of structures about, but there's no people about, um, which is a shame. So I'm, maybe I'm not in one of the more populated ones. Maybe uh, maybe you get a lot more population if there's PvP. But looking at the Steam reviews, I'm not convinced that this game's hugely played, um, which, which is a shame. Uh, it's not in early access. I don't know if it's recently left early access or not, but it's not in early access. Which is strange, because it does feel kind of early access-y. Um, it's by, who's, who's publishing this? It's by Javiti Worlds Limited, um, and this is their first game on Steam. It's uh, it's odd because it reminds me instantly. It's like a really, like I don't know, the art style's different, but it it looks like uh, it looks like Albion Online at first. Like, I think it's, it's the same sort of process. If you start off naked, and you sort of build your class by picking items and stuff. Or class is the wrong word, but yeah, I've, it's 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 not grabbed me. Put it that way. It's not. It's not made me, it's not really sort of grabbed me. Um, and this tool here, all these tools at the bottom here start off with these green lines, which I assume is the, like the durability. Now this thing run out ages ago and I've harvested a shed load of wood with it. So uh, I'm, I'm, not I'm not entirely sure if like, either I'm like, I do something wrong or it's glitched, I don't know. But it doesn't, I don't seem to be any any downside to it, um, to it not to it not having durability left. It seems to be doing, we're operating exactly the same. Um, so, uh, let's have a look. Construct survival. And then I want another bit of wall. Because I'm, I'm working on putting a wall around my little, my tiny, tiny hovel. Um, campfire. There you go. Wattle fence. It's a wattle, not a hovel, apparently. Just put that there. Look, you use the mouse thing to move it around. And it can be, well, it's on the inside of where you are. I'll let you build it, see? So that's nice. Let's explain this. Kind of figure this, kind of muddle this out. But I'm not, I'm not actually, um, Oh, we need five more branches. There you go. We need five more branches. I'm not actually against like working stuff out like myself. I'm quite happy to. Uh, I'm quite happy to muddle through it on games like this. I think it's part of the part of the sense of discovery adds to the game. Um, but yeah, it's not for everyone. And maybe the tutorial needs to be a little bit clearer. At the moment, my mission apparently here is to uh, is, is to is to harvest a pumpkin, which means I've grown like plant pumpkins. But I don't want to farm. I want to build. So I was like, I'll I'll get to that later. Um, it's interesting, the crafting system is interesting. Because, uh, because, uh, you, uh, sorry, I'm just sniffing. I've still got the remains of a cold look. If you look at this one here, it says Pine Tree Lumberjack 25, 
30 uh, percent and then this one here is like lumberjack 35 i don't know what the numbers mean but the percentage seems to be the higher the percentage like the more it's grown which means the more resources that can be in it so basically what i'm doing i'm looking for anything that's not red um because ideally you should wait till things are green but uh yeah look that's 100 percent is that 100 percent aspen 100 percent look can i walk across water it's 100 percent right there get it get oh we hungry you should eat something that's not a problem i got carrots I got raw carrots you can munch on here. Yeah, this is the hunger thing here. Can't eat anymore. There you go. Oh, she can't go through water. She must need to craft some wellies for her. You'll also notice around the edge here it shows you which direction your home is, which uh, which I don't dislike. That's an okay way of doing it. Take wood. Yeah, yeah. I don't know what the other thing is. I'm just like, I want wood though, so take wood. This is where it's been for the last hour or so. This is, I mean, this is. This is the experience I've had. Um, it took me a while to figure out the basic controls and the layout and stuff, like uh, I is your inventory and then uh, C is uh, crafting, not character, because I essentially is your character as well, I think. But it's K for character, yeah, K character abilities and stuff. But you can keep an eye on where you are and how much you've got. I mean, I've done like I'm 15 on lumberjacking, all right. Which is the only thing I've actually done, because I'm just like, I want to build a wall. I want to make my house real nice. Look at this guy's house. This guy's house is nice. Look, look, you can't. I can't get in there because of that tiny, tiny wall he's got. So he's got some. He's got some crops planted there. Look, he's got some pottery kiln, which is nice. He's got the upgraded one. Yeah, it's all right. It's all right. And I, ch I chose a female character because I was like, I just was like, it looks prettier than the dude who looks kind of weird and janky, like an alien. I was like, at least the female looks like a human being. And then I see it in action. I'm like, no, it does not. It does not look like a human being. Oh, there we go. Is there my wall? Uh, thick. Yay. Yay. Um, I seem to have done something to toggle fences as well, which I'm not quite sure. Not quite sure what that is that I've done to toggle fences. But it's better without fences because I can see what I'm doing. Um, but yeah, I did. I did actually. Uh, they was like fully viewed, like like probably at the beginning of this video, and I've pushed something there. Uh, okay. Let's go. Yeah, yeah. Build. It's, it's, it's happening now. Look, it's happening now. Whew. What have I done to toggle fences? What have I pressed? E. No. T. No. 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 Uh, let's grab you around the home cluster. I couldn't have pushed anything. Ooh. Ooh, what's that? Grid. Grid. That's actually not bad, is it? That's, it takes. I mean, it takes a lot of the immersion away from the game, but pretty good. Um. I don't know. I don't know what I've done to toggle it. I really don't. It does. It's not. It doesn't. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It's fine. It's fine. Can I make some more fence? Uh, I need more branches. It's taking me a, like. It's like six branches of fence. Is it six branches of fence. Um. It's six branch. Six branches and to one cutting per fence, which does make sense in the context of it. But uh, yeah. I've uh, I've 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 gone. I've done quite the amount of cutting. Um. I assume these grow back. I assume they grow back because I've gone a little bit wild with it. You know gone a little bit wild um would be nice to see another person to interact uh yeah it's it's yeah i don't think this was all me but uh a lot of it was me uh, but i cleared it out real good yeah i don't think someone else must be around doing that i don't i definitely didn't do this much i mean i have i have cut a lot but yeah not all this so it's interesting i haven't encountered anyone else yet and obviously something's going on someone's doing some cuttery right i mean that must be what's happening it's, uh, it's, it's double click to get into run if there's stamina, but there's no stamina left. Okay. Now we can, oh, we can also start a fire and that. And if we stand by the fire while we if we stand by the fire while we've got a full tummy, it heals us apparently. Um, so let's have a look at the little fire, see it works. Now this game it hasn't it hasn't really it hasn't really grabbed me. Cheap fuel. There we go. That fire. Yeah, yeah. It's right there. That's happening right there. Ah, uh, look at that, look at that, no, look at that, look at that, I've toggled, by toggling the fence, I've toggled off the trees. I thought I'd cut loads down, but no, it, it would appear that, uh, that I've toggled off fences. I don't even know I've done that. No idea I've done that. Um, I, do <laughs> I thought all those trees is cut down. Oh god, this is the best video ever, isn't it? Um, that's, uh, reset UI, what, the keys, there we go. Move left, move right, quick slot. I... No, I'll toggle roof visibility. H, maybe. 
page. Okay. Uh, toggle interface, open inventory, quick action. Uh, yeah, this is not. Yeah, okay. Toggle low graphics mode. Ah, it was low graphics mode. Obvious, obviously. Um, and now I can see trees again. There's me. I, I know I cut a few down, but I was like, I haven't cut that many down. There must be someone else. And I was like, I'm going to find someone else. No, no, no. Like, I'm not sure low graphics mode would actually, like... I mean, they're pretty static. I'm not sure that would really help with anything. Kind of useful to see what you're doing, though. Kind of useful to see what you're doing, though. Interesting enough. Um, yeah, it's it's not really grabbing me. And, like, the tech tree... Like, the, the way the tech tree works in this is not is also not... Let's, come on, let's go around here. Come on, go around here. Um, the way the tech tree works as well uh, is, like, I'm, I'm like... Okay, so now I want to go to the next bit. I want to I I now make... Um, like a tool. I want to make like a cup of scissors. And it's like blacksmithing five. Well, how do I get blacksmithing? I, I have to assume it's something I do at the very low level, which adds to it. And that fuel did not last a long time at all. There was like 92 of them there. Um, so with that, with the uh, the gear not actually expiring how it's supposed to, uh, throws me. And also there's a lot of duplication on the UI because I've got health here. I've got stamina here. And then I've also got health here and stamina here. I mean, if they just combine food here, it will be fine. The other thing that... Let's have a look. Open chat window. Yeah. Anybody have brick or light? Oh, okay. Someone did chat. I don't know when that was. That I've been here a while. Um, and there is an item shop in the store as well. Look at this. If it works. Yay! I can buy 25 bronze chess keys. Yeah, chess. We have to have that, don't we? Uh, mm, okay, so you pay $9.99 for a game. And then you have to buy chess. I don't know. I mean, let's assume these are optional. Let's give them the benefit of the doubt and go. These are optional. Um, they have to be a virtual currency. You can't just give them money. Um, 500 for 199 So, let's have a look at... So, 500 for 199 So, how much does this potion cost? 120 Okay. It's not that cheap, but it's reasonable. But, uh, yeah, I'm not a fan of... I'm not a fan of these item shops, as is, as is, as is well known, I think, by now. But, uh, yeah, it's... Uh, it's, I mean, it's not egregious. I mean, it didn't slap me around the face with it. It took me a while to notice it anyway, which is not terrible. Um, v for character. Hold alt to move faster while running. Okay. Hold alt while running. Hold alt to move faster. Uh-huh. Maybe I don't have a stamina. No, I do have a stamina. Look. There's a lot. Oh, there we go. There we go. No, no, I don't, I don't know why that's not working. Okay, guys, I think you've said enough of this. I think we've both said enough of this. Uh, it's not grabbing me. I hope if this is something that appeals to you, you've seen me play it and you've gone, yes, okay, I can, I'm can. i going to play this because uh, hopefully I haven't given it a bad example of the game uh, because I'm really not feeling it at all. I'm just sort of confused by it and I'm not particularly uh, I'm not particularly enamored with the, with the graphics. I can't zoom in, which bothers me as well. And that was... That was just a weird choice. Like, it doesn't even, like, say anything on the screen. It doesn't even tell me what I've done. Like, press L for this, which is weird. But, uh, yeah, mm, not enamored at all. But I think, I think, I mean, the the, the, the tools don't expire. Holding that alt while I'm, uh, if I, so if I use mouse move, I can't hold that alt to, uh, I can't hold that alt to run. I have to use keyboard if I want to use the run function, which is, which is weird. Um, the food system seems uh, a jump. I'm, I'm not sure what I feel about that. Because there's, sort of, there's multiple food here. There's like multiple food. So I assume food has different stats and stuff. I don't know. But uh, carrots seems to be the way to go. Uh, so yeah, there's a lot. I have a lot of thoughts that aren't quite that flattering. But I really hope that... I really hope that it it finds an audience. Because obviously it's it's, it's fairly serviceable. I mean, there's, there's lots that does work. And if they are developing it still... Then again, it's not it's not an early access, so maybe not. I'm rambling now, so I'm just going to stop there. Thanks for watching. Oh, by the way, the developer provided me with my game code. Thanks for watching. Bye, guys. And why did I close my eyes then? Do that ever. Thank you. It's because the light's up there, and I'm getting blinded. So I stopped doing that. I'm just, just, just lifting my whole thing. Like, game's amazing. I can't see anything. Bye. Oh, no, it didn't work. There you go. Just realized the sound's quite good, isn't it? I probably mentioned that. The sound of the audio is quite good. No, it's quite...